Hey, what is up, guys? Jerry from Uncle Jerry the 50 Productions on Lugia at c 2000 channel. Hi, how is everyone this lovely Friday? And stay tuned because today we have a special top five. Haven't really done one like this before, so hopefully it turns out well. And now I present to you top five Ben 10 toys of all time. So since this channel is a Ben 10 channel, and I know many of you are Big 10 fans, I decided to do this video today. Keep in mind these figures are all personally opinionated, and so a figure that kind of looks the same or doesn't have the best quality, it might not get the best review, and which is why it's not in my top 5. But again, there could be a toy that you love, it's not on this list, and I'm sorry, this is my personal opinion, and we try to keep it to the 4 inch figure range. So let's get started. At number 5 we have the Omniverse series Kyber. Now the Omniverse series what they did is they kind of cut quality, made attention to detail instead. And so where the figure weighs a lot less and probably isn't you know, the best kind of plastic and materials, they did put a lot of attention to detail in it, which is why it's in number 5. So you can see with Kyber, it has much attention to detail with Kyber's little nano trips, I believe it was called, and the bones all over him. Um, the only problem is they did have a great attention to detail, what's called quality. And so when you cut quality like that, it becomes really light, which means it's super hard to stand up by himself, and it's just less fun to play with. So that's why we ranked it so lowly. But uh, because of the attention to detail, it is really awesome. It's probably one of the best detailed figure I've seen. And number four is the Vilgats battle version. Now this is one of the first battle version figures to be out. It was a whole new line adding translucency and it was the first Vilgats figure. So you had you finally had that big bad villain to play with and give Ben a real opponent to fight. So here we have the battle version of Vilgats. As you can see the translucency and it is still have much quality. It has some weight to it. And you can see the detail on his legs and his arms for the translucency and the tentacles and his even mouth breather that he had in the original show. He is big and he is taller than most of the figures and you can see those muscles popping so you can see why this figure was so possible and it came with a card too. So yeah, if you're Ben 10 figure definitely gonna have a battle with this one. At number three we have the Ultimate Alien series jury rig. Now this one is nothing special, it is an alien, but the attention to detail was really nice, the quality was really nice, and how it had so many colors that complemented each other was awesome. And so that's why it is number three and it really pops. Here we have jury rig. Now the red isn't showing up on the camera as much as it is in real life, but the green and the red really do pop. This is very Christmassy, and you can see the green eyes complement the green on his little helmet, his uniform, his little goggles, um, and the Omni Trits as well. This one is really awesome, and plus it actually, and I've made a mistake, this actually came in the Omniverse series, not the Ultimate Alien series, so I apologize for that. It does actually have a red tail, but I've seen them misplace it. Um, but yeah, this figure has great detail. The colors really complement each other and which is why it is one of my favorite figures. At number two was also that big bad villain. It was from the Ultimate Alien series again, Ultimate Kevin. This one, the attention to detail is unbelievable. How much they paid attention to the show and included it into the toy. It didn't have to cut quality like the Kyber figure did to get all that detail in and which is why it's so highly rated. Here we have Ultimate Kevin. As you can see, he has Load Star, Swamp Vine, Wrath, um, Forearms, I believe it looks like, Jet Ray, Diamond Head, Spider Monkey, Chroma Stone, more Jet Ray in the face with some, I think that's Wild Vines again, or not Wild Vines, Swamp Fire um, for the arm and the face. And he does actually have a tail too, and he has the um, Brainstorm arms. Um, I've, like I said, I missed place the tail again. I believe it was the Humongosaur tail though. And so this this figure has so much detail and it's really easy to stand by itself and it weighs a lot. So this is one of the best figures you can buy and it's pretty cheap still. So um, if you really like the Ben 10 collection and you have not had this one yet, I would definitely add it to the collection. And number one is a figure that I actually do not have, but it was from the Battle Version series. It was Ultra Ben. 
and there are actually only 10,000 made, so it was actually a limited edition figure. This one is super rare, it's usually the highest in price from Ben 10 Toys, and it's also really cool. So, uh, sadly I can't show you it, but that is number one. So, if you want to see reviews done by Zach, also known as Luga at C2000 himself, I'll have those linked in the description below, so all you have to do is click on that to have a much further, more detailed review. If you enjoyed the video, go Battle Version Vilgat on the like button and smash it. I hope you enjoyed the top 5. This was actually really new, so let me know if you like it or not for all those big 10 fans. And thanks for tuning in. Top 5 next week, playlist down below, as well as all those reviews. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.